Hello everyone. We are a team of three. I am Abhishek Das. My teammates are Jafsima Singh Wahi and Siaoli. Our project is on the Hateful Memes Challenge hosted by Facebook. Excellent, please. The objective of this challenge is that given an image and caption, we need to classify the meme as hateful or benign. Thus, this is a binary classification problem, which requires the model to learn the hidden context behind the combination of image and caption theory. However, the dataset is designed in such a manner that unimodal models just exploiting the vision or language domain will fail, while only the models which learn the true multimodal reasoning will achieve a good performance. Next slide. Please. They do this by using benign confounders in the dataset. That is, for every hateful meme, they find an alternative image or caption, which when replaced is enough to make the meme benign. This also reflects in the TSNE analysis of the modalities, where we see that there is no separation between different classes. The dataset comprises of five different types of memes. The multimodal hate, where benign confounders were found for both modalities, the unimodal hate, where one of the modalities were already hateful on their own, the benign image and benign text confounders, and some random non-hateful examples. Our main evaluation metric is the AUROC and classification accuracy on the test set as suggested in the competition. From the data analysis and evaluation of multimodal baselines, especially looking at the most confidently predictive false positive and false negatives, on the bottom left of the slide, we see that the classifier tend to focus more on the language modality. And some of the memes are merely classified as hateful due to presence of certain keywords. Also, the models fail to identify the sentiment in the visual modality or the irony behind the combination and of image and caption source. On the right hand side of the slide, we see that the benign confounders, which are 20% of the data set, are formed just by describing the contents of the image or what is happening in an image. So, our hypothesis is that through image captioning, we can provide this extra knowledge to our model, which will help it to combat this kind of adversarial examples and can give it a huge improvement in accuracy. As Abhishek just described, the reason behind using image captioning and object detection, let's move towards the approach of using image captioning model. We implemented two image captioning models, one being an implementation of show, attend, and tell paper, and second using bottom-up, top-down image captioning. When we get the captions for the image, we pass that using BERT to get a textual representation, a tensor of 768 dimension. We also pass the hateful data set via pre-trained visual BERT model to get another multimodal representation. Now we fuse the two using different fusion techniques concatenation and trans bilinear translation, and then pass it via an MLP classifier, which predicts a label of zero or one as hateful or non-hateful. We also tried bilinear transformation, but the training took a lot of time. So we went with concatenation only for submission of the results. Finally, we fine tuned the visual word and the word model with the classifier on the hateful data. We implemented our experiments on two different frameworks, one being on the MF framework by the Facebook Research Lab, and second, locally by implementing all the models. We started with locally implementing concatbird baseline model, which gave us an accuracy of 57% on the, on the validation set. Then we added image captioning implementations on top of it and fusing them together using concatenation and bilinear transformation. This improved the accuracy by roughly 3%. Thus, Giving, uh, giving us a verification of the importance of object detection and image caption. But as we were doing it only on the simple baseline, the accuracy was still low. Next, we implemented the same captioning model with visual bird model, whose baseline accuracy significantly improves as can be seen in the later slides. As you can see in the slide, we have the original meme, which is hateful, we have benign text confounder, which is the second image, and it is made by just describing the image, which turns the meme into non-hateful, and finally, object detection of the image. For testing, we use the second image, whose label is zero, that is non-hateful. But Visual Word predicts this as hateful. Though, when we use it with our implementation, it kind of tries to match the features of the image captioning 
and the actual meme caption and find similarities, thus thinking that it is just a description of the image and classifying, classifying, classifying it as benign. We have a number of similar examples in the data set which kind of correctly classifies these image captioning based on benign confounders and improving the AUC ROC curve by almost 4% and accuracy by 7%. During the annual analysis, we also found that the fine-tuning multimodal representation models like VisualBird does not always provide desirable results. It may be because those models are portrayed to predict the semantic correlation between image and text, but the semantic information are difficult to capture and may not be enough for solving our task. Thus, we try to include some high-level features like text and image sentiments to add uh, to aid the prediction because the sentiment analysis is re related but relatively simple. To test our idea, we fuse the multimodal representations with unimodal sentiment information before a cluster, uh, classifier layer and compare the prediction with pure multimodal representations. Next, please. By adding the sentiment information, our model increased about 4% accuracy. Our model often corrects the originally incorrect prediction in the following two cases. One is when the text and the image has an opposite sentiment, as shown in the top left image. Our baseline considers this mean as uh, a benign, but our model can clearly indicate the irony. The other is when the both modality has a positive sentiment, as a mean shown in the left bottom. Sentiment information can help to confirm the benign means. However, since we don't have the data to fine tune or do train our sentiment analysis model, the accuracy of the sentiment prediction is undesirable. In addition, for image with two separate parts like the mean at the top right corner, the prediction is even harder. Also, in some complicated cases like the, the last image, where sentiments of both modality are negative, our model doesn't work well because in this case, the mean has a similar chance to be benign or hateful. Next, please. Later, we also try to compare the previous two ideas using image captioning and the sentiment analysis at the same time. Here's an example that our model benefits a bit, uh, the prediction. The image in the middle is a test image, which is made to be non-hateful. The original bird Coco predicted the label as hateful but our text sentiment and the visual sentiment gave us a positive result. Also, captioning describes the image in a similar way as the provided text. In this case, the image captioning and the sentiment analysis both help the prediction. Next. Finally, following are the results for our experiments on the leadership board of the Facebook challenge, where we got the best AUC, ROC, and accuracy with the image captioning model with VisualBird on MMF framework. Compared to the VisualBird baseline, which gives us an AUC ROC of 70.4 and accuracy of 61.7%, we get significant improvements in our approaches. The image captioning gives us an AUC ROC of 74% and accuracy of 68.4%, which is a significant increase from the baselines. Though sentiment analysis doesn't improve the AUC ROC by a large margin, but we still have a decent increase of almost 5% in the accuracy. We also ran many experiments locally using initial baselines like ConcadBird to verify the approaches and move forward with the approach only when we got improvement in the results locally. Finally, combining sentiment and captioning together, we expected improvements in results than image captioning, but there could be many reasons for lower accuracy, like redundant features being detected or conflicts in the two concatenations leading to lower accuracy. A better image mo captioning model could also improve the results here. Also, using internet knowledge and knowledge graphs might also help in improving the results, which could be done further. Thank you.